Welcome back to Road Atlanta in the Skip Barber. It's kind of one of the last races we're going to do this week. We are car number one in this race. We qualified first in this race. Let's see how we get on. Best Good luck, everyone. Celsius. You're Let's not jump the start. All right, Patrick, get ready. Green, green, I say green. that because it wouldn't be the first time I've jumped the start. Especially after qualifying well. Cold tires need to be careful, but start, also want to watch it, buddy. Also want to get away from people because it's very easy to draft here and very hard to drop people if they're in your draft. Hi. Like Lucas is in our draft. If we can get away from him, that'll be very good. But also don't want to make a mistake. Thirty people in the pits, not good. I've been doing practice sessions, so I'm used to kind of hot tires. So made some mistakes, and that allowed Lucas to come back, but. Okay, heads down. Let's see if we can drop them or just uh, stay ahead of them, stay with them. I don't know. Anthony, when you can't pass the ball, got a rear wing. You sure do, mate. Right, thanks, mate. Got rear ended on the first corner. Alright, so he's officially with us. Make sure everything's still intact. Now we just gotta settle in. Your last lap time yeah, I find my tooth out on my tooth. Just done at 107.23. Yeah, that section was already four tenths faster. Sit again. Not sure where we can uh, make up some time on them. Like I said, it's hard to drop people once they're sort of in your draft. Oh, whoa. Especially through here and into the last straightaway. Okay, Patrick, don't let this guy distract you. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Don't give up, keep him under pressure. Car left. Still there. Still there. Clear left. This fighting is just going to bring the others closer. Which is not great. That's your fastest lap. But hopefully they're fighting it out and we can sneak out a draft. Thanks, Trey. Somebody spun over there. Thanks, Alex. Jason's probably the closest to our pace. Based on our last practice, we were within a couple tenths of each other. You're now in the lead. And he's kind of in our draft. Ideally, if we can put in a couple of good sectors, we can get him out of draft range, which will help us keep our gap. Good. 
that's the fastest lap. The guy behind has just done a 106.78. Uh, really tentative into turn one there. Low confidence. And there. The guy behind is now 0.6. Thank you, Daniel. That was, I appreciate that. You never know when those comments are sarcastic or not. Probably not. I'll tell you about them. I've been holding on, but I changed my anti-roll right before the race, so that was a mistake. Shouldn't change anything right for the race. The, the guy behind has just done a 106.49. What'd you change it to? Sorry, I couldn't hear you there. What'd you say? What did you change your IRB to? Just up to seven. Not enough to really throw me off too much, but I know that I will need to get to eight eventually. I actually find six is really good around here. I've been having Some issues with sectors, uh, front but tires I can't, wearing out early. So I'm trying to go stiffer though. These guys are talking. I don't even know what my anti-roll bar is. Probably eight. <laughs> I don't really mess with my setup too much. Maybe the ride height depending just on curves. You're a tenth off in sector one. The guy behind has just done a 106.33. Whoops. I'll take the 1x, I guess. As long as it didn't slow me down too much. So yeah, he's just hanging out there in our draft. Basically, he's about a tenth faster every lap than we are because of it. Kinda need him to make a mistake so we can get away from him. We're a little faster through that chain. But then he reels us back in on this straightaway. Distracted. Defend your position. You've just done a 106.35. Still slowing down way too much there. Into the S's. too much lift this time. Didn't make as much time this time. Our turn in was a little too late. He's a lot closer this time. The guy behind has just done a 
kind of one of those situations where I'm not paying attention to what he's doing because it doesn't really matter as long as he gives us space it's faster there That lap time was 106.24. That's your best lap in this session. Definitely the closest he's been. Might have a look. Kind of going a little slower into that corner than I'd like, but allows us to get a good drive out. Six, one, three, four. Okay, Patrick, lap times are pretty consistent. Much less lift this time, didn't scrub as much, also we had a little bit of a gap through the S's on Jason. So he was a lot closer last lap, but still in draft, still there. Kind of biding his time and screwed that up, so a sector we're strong in, we just gave up all that time again. Basically lost a quarter of a second. Halfway home, fuel looks okay. That was a one oh six point five five. All right, we're halfway. Good run into the S's. We'll just try for the very low lift. That was just a little bit of lift. Don't be pressured. Keep it gave him tough. a good toe, but we're on our fastest lap, so... reality is, Track if I was in his shoes, I would just sit in the back, kind of cruise along, and then come last lap, make a move, right? There's no point in fighting now or trying to make a move now. I mean, if he did, I'd give it to him because there's no sense in fighting him. Because then I'd be on the offensive and go for the kind of late race pass. The thing is this, this lap is so short and there's not enough technical spots that like you can't really force an error. Can't string together enough sectors to really drop anybody. Oh, shifted way too early. I don't think he'll go for it. He 
Whoops. Yeah, so we can't shake them. We had a rate li race like this earlier in the week. We basically like hung on, passed for first, stayed in second. Couldn't really do anything. Ah, again with the early shifting. Why? So I've got a third of the race to go. As much as I don't want to scrub speed there, you know, it's hard to maintain as much momentum when he's got the Good toe. On your left. He's still there. Clear left. Oh, Patrick. Come on, mate. Defend your position. It's okay, Jim. That was really, really lame. Now we get to pressure him, see what he's got. And then go for the Three last two, lap. Move. Lap time to 14. Because it's a lot easier to stay behind somebody. Because if you make a little mistake, the toe will pull you back real quick. But leading, you pull will make a mistake. You don't get that luxury of Thanks for that, guys. correcting it immediately. It was a good race until then. Hey Nathan, how are you mate? Uh, pretty messed up, but it's fine. You can go ahead and pass me bro. Take the inside. That was a 106, like 1-6. I'm sure this is what the race was I like had to for get him. Towed. I don't know why they went three wide on that. Not. Oh, was that you stuck in the sand? Yeah, just a... I don't know if it was net code or if I really touched them, but I got stuck in the sand and just wouldn't go. I was right behind you on lap one. Sorry to see that he spun out. Yeah, it's totally my fault. Okay, Patrick, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. It's a lap traffic, I so... I just understand three wide with eight laps left, you know? Which may mess with yeah, our... Big crazy night. ...pass attempt. Unfortunate. You've just done a 106, 130. Kind of taking those really wide lines to one, kind of like make them wonder if I'm going to pass or not. And two, you know, if he thinks I am, maybe that'll force him into something... We gotta be a little bit closer on the coming laps here to make the pass. 
because he'll defend. That lap was a 106.25 Ooh, sorry about that very fast. We're matching race pace. I don't know if it's better to go for the last lap move, because it's risky, because there's no guarantee, right? Or to go for the Come on, find not, We're not last lap move and then defend ourselves. I think that's what we're going to do. Why not? We tried the last lap move that other race, didn't work. So we'll try the earlier than last lap move here and see if we can defend. So I guess the second to last lap move. We got a lapper ahead of us. Two laps left. Come on, you're looking good for a podium. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Which might actually be a good reason to do the move this lap because who knows what that guy will do. Uh, he might get a draft off him now. Yeah, this might mess us up. Car right. Clear right. Push, push, push. We can win this. Nicely done. All right, let's see if we can defend. Two liters remaining. Come on, Patrick. One more lap. Keep it together. We'll win this. You're out. Alistair, okay. Just stay on it. Okay. Thanks, sir. It's all over you. Keep your exit speeds up. Stay smooth. Wish we had a lapper to pull us a little through here. All right, we got to defend. It's going to get a run on the outside. On your right. Hold your line. Ah! Still there. Clear right. <laughs> nice. Good job. Great drive. That's a podium. Good race. Good race, Patrick. And thanks for the vote of confidence and help me get up to three. <laughs> <laughs>
perfect. All right, here are the results. We finished second. <laughs> uh, literally last, what, second to last corner. We got past, fighting kind of back and forth. I made a couple mistakes early and wasn't able to get away. So I was reeled in by Jason. So it was a pretty uneventful race in terms of we just kind of followed each other around for 20 laps. And then I was able to pass him towards the end, had a bad exit out of the chicane. He was able to get a good drive squared up and pass me to the finish line. So unfortunate, pretty close finish, 0.1 seconds. Happy with the race. One incident, gained eye rating, gained safety rating. Good way to finish the week. All right, if you enjoyed this race, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.